We've been out today catching butterflies. Um, it looks like our poll resulted in our next insect model being the Madagascan sunset moth. So that's exciting. We're really hoping Flick comes back soon. Today it seems we have Red. So let's go in and see what he's got for us today. Well, if it isn't my favorite cousin, glad to have you back aboard Jolly Red's Treasure Trawler. Oh, store policy, I know it, you know it. We have a limit of one art piece per customer per day. Choose wisely. Okay, well, this one looks familiar to me, so I think it's in our museum. This one I'm not sure about, and this one I'm not sure about. Uh, or the statue. I don't know if we even have that statue. Oh, red, red, red. All right, I'm going to have to get back with you. Let's try to remember these. We'll run right over to the museum right now. Thanks for sneezing on me, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. All right, let's run over to the museum and see. I'm excited to start on Acre 7 today because I have... <laughs> A wonderful idea for it, even though it seemed like it was going to be the hardest one. But I think Acre 8 is going to be the hardest one. But Acre 7, I got a, I got a, a really nice idea, and it's a tribute to something. So we'll have to see. All right, let's go look at our art. Up the stairs. Hehe. <laughs> Oh, Rattle's in here. Hey, Rattle. Yay, you finally talked to me. I keep meaning to say hi, but you always seem so busy. I am. We gotta hang out and get deep into snacks sometime, Moon Pie. You know it. All right, so it looks like... Hmm, it looks like we may not have that statue. We do have that painting. And, oh, was that the same painting? Don't know. <laughs> oh, we do have that painting. Okay. And we do have that painting. So the only one we don't have is the statue, I think. Yeah. Oh, I hope it's real, because we'll buy it. All right, let's run back and see Mr. Red, Cousin Red, <laughs> and see if this statue is real. I would love to get another statue for the museum. Welcome, cousin. What is this called? I won't lie, an awful lot of folks have been asking me about buying that beautiful statue there. The fake version is wearing a necklace. Maybe the price scared him off, so I'll sell it to you for 4,980 bells. Deal of the spring. You in? I want a closer look. Oh, she's not wearing a necklace. Yay. We'll buy it. Are you admiring the detail? I can't blame you. It's extremely detailed. Brilliant stuff. And the best part, all that detail could be yours for just 4,980 bells. Sold. <laughs> Yay, we got a new statue for the museum. It's been a while since we got a new piece of art. 
Thanks, cousin. We'll be looking forward to it. Hooray! I am so excited! Now, let's get over to Acre 7, alright? So, Randall's been doing real good with his honey. And, oh, before we get over to Acre 7, oh, shoot, 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 here we go. Um, Ed and his Airbnb, okay, he's put in a little hot tub. He's added some flowers. And it looks like he has his first guest. Now, we did add a few things in to make it look more homey, especially the toaster in the kitchen. <laughs> so, um, we did have this little gyroid in our storage, but we didn't have two more, and the, and the acre required three. So, uh, we found a, a fragment on the beach, and we buried it, and we got two more that we dug up. So, we now we have three gyroids. So we'll have to choose because only two of them can stay at the Airbnb. So I'm going to dig them up. A oh, thwapoid. Okay, let's see. Thwapoid. Ooh. <laughs> A rumbloid. Ooh, he's very cool looking. Okay, and the tacoid. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, this one definitely. This one definitely. Oh boy, these two are just weird. He looks like he's trying to put a hat on and his head's too big. Oh, wow. I don't know. He looks very stressed out. We'll take this guy. This one just looks very stressed out. And if you're staying at an Airbnb, you shouldn't be stressed out. <laughs> right? All right. So we're going to put one by the car because they're still unpacking. We'll put the rumbloid over here. And then the little TikTok guy, he can already be inside. And he's going to be, hmm, over on the bed, I guess. He's a, He was tired from the trip. Oh, they won't let him go on the bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, shoot. Uh, maybe we can put him on the table. He likes the sitting on the table. <laughs> oh, shoot. He need... So we want him facing. Okay, let's pull the table out a little bit. Okay, so there... There are the visitors to the Airbnb. Hooray! They all look like they're going to have loads of fun. <laughs> I think that um, Ed will just love it. And he start earning a little income and making people happy. Sweet! So he's done. We may add a few finishing touches here and there. But... I think for all intents and purposes, he is done. Hooray. So his acre had villager home, add three gyroids, and two cliffs. And, and we did manage to do that. And we came by last night to see the lights in action on the cliff. And they looked very good. So we are very happy with that acre. And I think Ed is too. He was keeping a watchful eye on us 
while we were building it, so I think he's pretty happy with the way it turned out. Now, acre seven, acre seven. The requirements for that were 20, V, and six. So if we look at the chart for the requirements, then we have to say that it requires the nooks be there and hyacinth be planted. And it has to have two cliffs also. Ah, oh, that's, that's very hard to do, but we have managed to do it. And I'll tell you about it. Ta-da! This is going to be acre seven. Okay, there's our two cliffs. They have two of the park archways up there. Now, this is going to be a very colorful spot. We're going to put another archway. I maybe even two. I, I'm not sure where these will end up. Okay, there. And it's just going to be a colorful, happy place. We're going to get nooks over here. We have to finish putting in the, the pavement, which is going to be very colorful. We'll get our construction hat on. Okay, now let's go get our shed and our um, DIY table. We're going to move those over here so that they're ready when we need them. And I'll tell you the story behind this tribute, okay? Because <laughs> I couldn't think of anything to do for, for it and The more I thought about it, and the more I, I tossed around ideas, this is the one that came to me, and it brought to mind the B&I, the B&I store in Tacoma, Washington. Now, a lot of people may know the B&I store because it housed the Gorilla Ivan for years and years, but that's not why I remember it. And um, it was because when I lived in Tacoma, I had small children and they just, I didn't have a lot of money and they were so playful that I just didn't know what to do with them sometimes. And so I could take 70 cents or 80 cents or 50 cents, whatever, and take them up to the B&I. And they had a big area with just all these little um, coin-operated rides and such. Some of them were 10 cents. Some of them were 5 cents. And my little kiddos could just ride to their heart's content and run and play and cheer and laugh and just be together and just have loads of fun. I, you know, we did see the sad little chicken playing the piano and the, and the poor gorilla, but we never went to see those. Um, we just always just played on the rides and then went home and they would be so tired. They would just eat their supper and go to bed. <laughs> so they always had a lot of fun at the B&I and that's what I remember. So when I had to move nooks over here, I thought, let's do a tribute to the B&I, which I believe is still open. And, um... That's, that's what this is. We're going to get nooks moved over here. And we'll set up some of the park activities so that everybody can come to the B&I nooks and have, have a really good time. Because it was always 
such a happy place and such a fun place. And that's what we want our island to be. So Nooks is going to be a tribute to the B and I. Ooh, and Fauna asked to move today. She said she wanted to move. I told her no. But I'm real happy about that. And so was she. She said she was hoping that we'd talk her out of it. So there you are. <laughs> Okay, Tom Nook, we're here to talk about infrastructure. Well, there are a number of things we can discuss, but what did you have in mind? I want layout changes. Which building did you want to move? We want to move the shop. Oh, the shop! Moving that will cost you 10,000 bells. So, do you want to suggest moving it? Yes, I do. Very good. Let's see what Timmy and Tommy think of the idea. Hold on while I contact them. So, Timmy, what do you think about Shamelin's suggestion to move the shop? I'm all for it. Shamelin will find us a spot that'll make business boom. I'm sure of it. All right then, sounds great. You just leave the rest to me and our friend Shamelin. Well, Shamelin, since the matter of moving is now settled, I'll take that construction fee now. Next up, I'd like you to pick out the new location. In your pockets, you'll find the shop moving kit you'll need. Find a spot and deploy. Hooray! We had to order some stuff uh, for the area, and so now that we have it, I'm excited about doing it. We may put some um, some of the dividers here and keep the keep the gates here, or we may move them because I think we are going to put nooks right back in the corner here. That'll give us more room for everything else. Let's see if it'll fit. Ooh. Too close to a cliff. I need more room. Okay. All right, so we're going to have to pick some of this stuff up and see how much room it's going to take. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> All right. Let's try again. We'll get it back as far as we can. Still too close to a cliff. And we can go back a little bit. Okay. How about right here? Let's imagine it. Oh, and there's still there's still a path over here that you can get out. I think that's the perfect spot. Okay. Hooray! It's the nooks. All right. And that took care of our little spot that we messed up on over there. Now we'll just fill this in. Maybe Flick will come tomorrow and we'll be able to get this butterfly model ordered. It's going to be exciting. Oh, goodness sakes. Stop doing that. <laughs> All right, now, if we'll review, oh, by the way, I'm wearing the little um, 
Hope Month t-shirt that I designed it. It's really, that is supposed to be a dove flying. So if you can imagine a dove flying, <laughs> that's, that is what it's supposed to be for Hope for Hope Month. All right. So in my, in my collection here, I have a couple of shopping carts. I have the Plaza Clock. I have uh, the Ferris wheel, the merry-go-round. I have a, a stall and a cotton candy stall and a couple of popcorn um, things. The train, um, some capsule toy machines, just because the B&I &I just had all that stuff. The plaza bench, the teacup ride, um, the ATM, which got taken up and really should be by Nooks. Um, and one of the springy rides as a um, tribute to the B&I. And the balloon wagon and another popcorn machine. Now, I probably won't put all these things out. So, let's see. I'm glad that we left this walkway over here. And maybe now we can make the path to the park um, go double here and just fill in this whole area. That'll look nice. All right, so let's see. Maybe ATM. Yeah. We'll just start putting stuff out, and we always have the option of moving it. Let's see, we'll put the, um, you know, instead of a divider, we'll probably put the uh, cotton candy machine over here. Oh, yeah. And then um, maybe a popcorn machine here. That teacup ride is a little bit too festive for me and I think if I do put the teacup ride down that it's not going to have the the music on because <laughs> it just gets to be a little bit much all right let's see all right so we'll put the other popcorn machine over here and let's see that one's facing that way so really want to turn this one Okay, and then we'll put the capsule machines over here. Oh boy, um, let's pull that out a minute because I need to push it over. <laughs> Okay, will that go next to that? Oh, come on. It will not. All right. We'll push it back over. Okay. Well, that's a start of a festive area, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's see. And then next to the nooks... Hmm, maybe we'll have one of the stalls right next to. Hmm. It's not going to turn. And that red stripe doesn't really match. We'll have to... We'll have to see... Um, if we can change the stripe without going to Harv's Island. Okay, and then... Let's see, do we have something back here that's kind of narrow? Um... The train ride? We could do the train ride. Okay. 
And then let's see. Oh boy. <laughs> Ferris wheel, merry-go-round. How about Ferris wheel? Ooh, that's going to be right in the way. I don't remember exactly where the door is. But we just want it to be festive. Let's see. Balloon wagon, the springy ride on, the teacup ride, and the bench. Okay, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're going to put the bench over here by the ATM. Ah, where is it? It's over in the corner. Yeah. Okay, and then you can still get to the ATM. Okay, so that's good. And the clock... Maybe if we can put the clock here... Oh, but I don't think we can. We can't even walk over there. That fence is in the way. Let's take that piece of fence out. See if we can put the clock here. <laughs> there we go. Oh! Shoot. Okay. Yeah, we can't even get through there. So, <laughs> let's see. If we move this down one. And then we move this down one. <laughs> Good try. And then we move this down one. Everybody shift. <laughs> Everybody shift. All right. Yay, now we can put the plaza clock there. Very good. Hooray. Um, let's see. Merry go round. Oh, there's no room. Ooh, how big is that thing? <laughs> It's not too bad. Can you still see the train? Yeah, you can still see the train. Ooh, this is a little bright. <laughs> and then right in front of Nooks, of course. Let's see, we'll have the little coin ride. And, oh, do we 
have room for anything else. We'll put the balloon cart back here. Woohoo! So it's like a little carnival. It will definitely be a happy place. Let's um, put our DIY table back over here and see if we can make this booth a little happier. Hmm. Oh, balloons. Polka dots. You know, there may be some other stripes. No. Oh, how about honey? <laughs> we could do it in the flooring. Oh, but that would be too much. Um... Oh boy, I don't have anything for it right now. Let's see if we can get a stripe out of this. Uh, there's a yellow stripe. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we'll stick with the yellow stripe. That might fit in better than anything else. Or maybe the purple. Let's do the purple. I like it. Yeah, we got kind of purplish ones in there. Hooray! Well... We wanted a happy place, and this sure looks <laughs> like it might be a happy place. There, and now maybe we can have some some little um, rubber duckies or something as prizes for people who who win the little games or something. Yeah, that'll be fun. And Nooks will move in. What an acre. <laughs> it wasn't hard to fill this acre, was it? Oh my goodness. Let's have some cotton candy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and popcorn. I love, love, love popcorn. Ooh. All right. Well, we certainly have... I don't know how I'm going to feel being neighbors to the B&I. <laughs> but definitely the things will be shut off most of the time. So tomorrow when Nooks comes in, I hope Timmy and Tommy are happy with what they see. Because now they are just the festival of festivals. <laughs> and that's a fun little acre. I really had fun doing it. And so... Oh! I almost forgot. Do I have hyacinth? No, I did have. Uh oh, we need to go. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> we need to go dig up some hyacinth and plant some hyacinth somewhere. Oh, we could put it up there. Did I put some up there? No, I didn't. I thought I had dug some up and had them in my pocket, but I guess I didn't. So, whoa. All right, let's go see if we can find some hyacinth. Get our shovel. Tulips. Tulips. Here's some hyacinth. Phew. I almost forgot.
There's an assortment of colors, so that'll look nice. And we'll put that up on the balcony by the other archways to finish it off. Two cliffs, nooks, and hyacinth. Will it have any more hyacinth? Oh, I don't see any. The flowers are starting to narrow out. Okay, here we are. Let's get our ladder and go up. Okay, let's see. We're going to get our shovel just so that we can pinpoint these things in the right area. We'll start with a red one. We'll do the pink. And then the white. blue and then on the other end the white one so we had five that was plenty it didn't specify so we have fulfilled <laughs> we have fulfilled the acres requirements Phew! I almost forgot the hyacinth can we get down here we cannot okay there we go. Hooray. A job well done. We'll christen the Nooks Shopping Center. Everybody have a super time. If you ever are feeling down, just come to Nooks. And ride the rides. Play the machines. Have some cotton candy and you will feel absolutely wonderful. How about that? I hope everybody likes this acre. It really turned out well, I think. And our other acres, let's see. I did have something that I wanted to give over to Fauna. Especially can't let her leave when, when we're still working on her acre here and there. I got her this cute little music player at Nooks. So cute. And it matched her yard. And with all that rain we had, we did not get another rose. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm doing something wrong. So here's what we'll do just as a test. We'll dig this one up. And we'll plant it right here. And then we'll see if two of them need to be together in order to spread. So we'll try that. And then let's see, I had a little menu board. And, oh, the shopping carts for notes. I forgot about those. I don't know if they'll fit into this area now because nobody's going to want shopping carts in this area. People will just have to carry their stuff. So we will get out our shed. and put some stuff away. And there you have it. It's Nook's Shopping Center. Acre number six. Wonderful. 
Oh, acre number seven. I'm sorry. It's acre number seven because our next acre is acre number eight. And I'm afraid it's going to be a tight squeeze because it has the lake on it. Now look how much room we have. Oh no, this is the property line. <laughs> so we don't have any hardly down here because the bridge is here. We may have to change the shape of the lake because acre 8 has a villager home on it. Acre 8 had G1 and 6 and 6 and 4. G1, 6 and 4 and 4 is Dora. So we're going to have to move Dora's home over here. There's really no place for her to go. I guess she could go here. We may have to move, uh, change the shape of the lake. But we, we have plenty of time to think about that. As we, as we take a rest <laughs> and try to think what we're going to do. Maybe, oh... I just got a great idea, but it will have to wait until next time when we start Acre 8. But I hope you had fun as we developed Acre 7. It sure was a lot of fun for me. I appreciate you all being here and watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more, please, please hit the subscribe button and join us again and again. We'd love to have you. Bye for now. Please join Shamelin on Hopemont with her neighbors, Dora, Murphy, Plucky, Camo Frog, Rattle, Spork, Bud, Mint, Fauna, and Ed. See you soon.